Hi there guys, um, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this Hong Kong Disneyland um, haul video. Um, I got back from my Asia trip about a week ago. Uh, I've been ill ever since I've got back um, but I am going over to one of my friends today and I want to give them some gifts from the trip. So before I went I wanted to film the haul video while I still have everything before I start giving stuff away. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through everything that I got from Hong Kong first in this video. I will then do a separate video on Shanghai and on Tokyo as well. Um, so yeah, let's start with everything that I got from Hong Kong. Um, I will start with something not Hong Kong Disneyland related, but something that I always try and pick up from everywhere that I go. And that is the Starbucks You Are Here mug. Um, so got it, obviously. <laughs> And this is the Hong Kong version of the mug. Um, so it's got like the Hong Kong skyline on it, um, like a dragon boat, um, one of the like um, junk boats, I think they're called. Um, then like the bridge that you kind of, it's like a big bridge that you kind of go across from the airport to Hong Kong. I think that's like that bridge. Um, it's got some dim sum on there. Um, and then just, yeah, the skyline. Um, and it's got red on the inside. So yeah, this was, do I have a price on it? No, um, but I think as per usual, they're always around about the equivalent of £15 and that's what I think this one was. <laughs> and I'm recording this on my phone, so sorry if I'm not looking the right way or the video quality is not quite right or if the angle's not right. I can't see what I'm filming, which is weird. Um, I broke my vlogging camera while I was away. Um, I dropped it on the floor in the hotel, um, literally onto carpet. But the lens is broken um luckily the camera is one way you can take the lens off and replace the lens so um i might look at getting a new lens for it i might look at getting a new camera i might just see if i can get the lens fixed we'll see it's currently kind of stuck half zoomed in half zoomed out so um don't really know how i fix that so the next thing that i'm going to chat through is the freebies so this is all the free stuff that we got while at hong kong disneyland um, so the first couple of bits are from the um, hotel that we stayed in. We stayed in Disney Explorers Lodge. Um, so when we checked in, we got given this like cute little sticker. On the back it says, thank you for staying in Disney Explorers Lodge. We hope you enjoyed your stay with us and we will be grateful of a TripAdvisor review. Even Disney want TripAdvisor reviews. Um, so yeah, I got this sticker, which I'm gonna use for scrapbooking. Um, we also got these amenity kits in the room. So this is the Disney Explorers Lodge one. And inside it's got like toothbrush, toothpaste, um, a razor, a shower cap, some um, cotton buds, some cotton pads, a little comb and a little nail file as well. So it's good if you like forget anything or if you just want to steal it and take it home. Um, another thing that you kind of get is the um, slippers. You got these in every hotel. Um, it says, please take these slippers on your next adventure as a gift from Disney Explorers Lodge. Um, and they've just got, um, you can kind of see through the bag, a little Mickey shape on them. And they're just kind of like normal hotel crappy slippers, but they had Mickey on, so I thought they were cute. I decided to take them. Another thing that I got was from the Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel. We checked in there for one night at the end of our holiday um, due to unforeseen circumstances, which I'll kind of go through um, in the vlog and stuff. Um, but this is a Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel pin, not pin, um, pen, which I picked up from the room. And I also picked up a notepad, but I can't see where that's gone to. Um, I think that they give out a lot in the resort is like stickers and um, so I've got loads of stickers and I also got this little cute postcard I got this when I bought my Shelly May bag which I'll show you in a bit and um, it's like a little postcard um, and the rest of them are stickers there's like a Chip and Dale like a Tsum Tsum mushroom kind of situation um, and then because Halloween got a lot of like villains so Jafar, um, Oogie Boogie um, actually that might be of the villains I think I had in other ones, but I don't know where they've gone. Um, and then also like similar style of like Woody, um, Zero, and then um, Chewbacca, Iron Man, and also Ant Man. So you kind of like basically the cast members at the um, entrance to attractions would be giving these stickers out all the time. Um, so as long as you kind of like smile when you walk in the queue, they'd be like, "Do you want a sticker?" And you'd be like, "Yes, please." So I've got quite a lot of stickers there for my scrapbook, which is good. So that is it for free stuff from Hong Kong Disneyland. Um, so the next kind of stuff that I got, I'm going to go on to um, this, which is just a little pressed penny. And um, they had pressed penny machines everywhere like they do in the US. 
Um, this is Disney Explorers Lodge one. I didn't get a Hong Kong Disneyland one. Can't remember why. I think I just kind of forgot. Um, or I didn't have enough change, so I just didn't get one. Um, so I got this one from the hotel just before we left um, Hong Kong for the first time. I got quite a few like little um, pins as well from the trip. Um, so we got this one for free. It's like a little um, Pluto. If I can open. Can I get it out of the bag? Come on. <laughs> Plastic. Gross. Yeah. Uh, so it's like a little um, circle with like a glittery green background and then Pluto. Um, this is one of the like Disney's, it says Disney Mickey's Magic Draw exclusive. Um, and it says Hong Kong Disneyland on the back, pin trading from 20... 2017 pin trading pin, um, four or five. So I got this from the um, Disneyland, from the Explorers Lodge Hotel shop. Um, it was like when you gave like in like a voucher that you got with the room, you got this pin for free. Um, my friend also got one as well. Um, and then on to some pins that I purchased. So I purchased this Hong Kong Disneyland pin. Um, I don't know how much this one was. Um, I did make a note of all of the prices, but they're on my phone, which I'm using to um, film. So that was helpful, wasn't it? Um, it's a green price, um, which doesn't really mean much. Um, I think it was about, I don't, I, I really don't know. Um, so it's got Minnie Mouse on it and Hong Kong Disneyland. And this is from 2009 Pin Trading. It's got a slightly different back. It doesn't have like the normal Mickey Mouse um embossed back it's got a different back but it is official um disney pin um another one that i got was the 2019 hong kong disneyland pin and this one has the chip and dale on it which i just thought was really cute so i wanted to pick it up this one is in the red price bracket again not too sure how much that costs um but i thought it was nice just to have a year pin for um the trip and the last pin that I picked up from Hong Kong Disneyland was the Disney Explorers Lodge pin. And um, this one again is green. This was the only hotel that had its own merchandise, which I thought was weird. Um, we stayed in the Hong Kong Disneyland hotel for one night, as I mentioned, um, and they did not have any like merchandise for that hotel, which I was like, oh, okay, then fair enough. Um, but I got this um, Disney Explorers Lodge one, which I thought was cute. Um, so another bit of, I guess, standard merch that I got um, is this. It is a Hong Kong Disneyland magnet. We get magnets from everywhere that we go. We collect them and put them on our fridge at home. So um, this is the Hong Kong Disneyland one that I got. It was 48 um, Hong Kong dollars, so around about five pounds. Okay, I also picked up um, a keyring. This keyring is like the Minnie Mouse ears rose gold version. Um, I know they sell these in like parks all around the world, um, specifically in the US. Um, this is the first time I've seen it. It wasn't available last time I went on a holiday to the US. Um, so I got this rose gold one for myself. I got my mum the black and red one. And I also got my brother, um, not a Minnie Mouse one, a um, Thanos um, Infinity Glove gauntlet one. And they had a lot of like these kind of keychains there. Um, it does say Hong Kong Disneyland on the tag, but I know that they do sell these. Um, definitely in the US, I've seen them um, on like Instagram and stuff. And this is a purple price. Again, not too sure how much that is, but I feel like it was around about 88 um, Hong Kong dollars. So probably around about nine, nine pound 50. Um, and then I also picked up a couple of pens. I feel like these pens are just really good like gifts and kind of standard things to buy. So I got myself this um, Minnie Mouse bow one. It's like very similar to the normal Minnie Mouse silhouette one, just with the bow instead and says Hong Kong Disneyland on it. Um, I picked up two of these Winnie the Pooh um, pens. I got one for my mum and one for my friend. Um, and again, they say Hong Kong Disneyland on them and have like a little cut out Winnie the Pooh at the top. And the last one I picked up is a standard Minnie Mouse one, but it's black and has the red and white bow, which I thought was cute. And I don't think I've seen this one before. Um, I did see it in other places afterwards, but um, I don't remember seeing it in the US before, so it might be a new one. Um, and again, it's Hong Kong Disneyland. And again, this is going to be a gift for a friend. Another piece of merchandise that I picked up. This was kind of accidental. These next two were actually. Um, so they had these bags in the hotel where if you spent so much, you could get them for, um, I want to say like 158 
Hong Kong dollars, so like £16. Um, so I got one when I put some other stuff because it had a few things in it and I was like, why not? Let's go for it. Um, so it came with this um, Duffy notepad and pen. Um, not too sure what I'm going to do with this. Might give it away as a gift, might keep it. Um, but this on its own was worth 138 Hong Kong, Hong Kong dollars. Um, I did think it's quite cute. I also got like this weird Mickey Mouse backpack, which I just left in the room because I just had no use for it whatsoever. Um, and also a like Lightning McQueen um, like sipper cup for like a kid. Um, so again, that was um, given. Well, I brought that home, and, and that's been given to one of my mum's friends, um, along with a Jello Tony pen as well. And um, the other thing that came out of that bag was this. It's a cookie pass holder. Um, I did use this when I was over in um, Tokyo because I was like, well, they don't sell it over there, so it's a bit more of a unique item. Um, this one in particular felt very small. Ooh, 200 yen. Um, this one in particular felt very small compared to the other pass holders. I don't know if that's because it's a Hong Kong pass holder compared to these ones which I got all got I got from Tokyo. Um, but it didn't seem to hold as much in the inside area um, as the other ones that I've got. In terms of size, though, it is the same kind of size outside, um, and it comes on the long holder. Um, I think this is worth probably about 150 on on its own as well. So from the bag. I think I definitely got my money's worth. So while we're on the Duffy feet theme, um, I've got a couple of little bags. This bag I've actually had for a little while, but my dad did pick it up for me, for me from the Hong Kong airport, from the Hong Kong Disneyland shop. So I thought I would include it in this haul. And it's this little Duffy bag. It's um, quite small, but it just fit like enough. Like, I used it in, in an, on an evening in one of the parks um, and it fit enough in um, like my phone, my purse, um, and like a battery pack and things like that. It comes with this long over shoulder like body strap and also has two little straps so you could hold it in different ways. Another bag that I picked up is this one it is the big Shelly May um three way bag. And um, this was 358 Hong Kong dollars, I think. So probably around about 40 pounds, 30 mm, 36 to 40 pounds, depending on exchange rate. Um but this is a big bag it holds a lot so it's got um, these short straps here so you can hold it like a bag it's also got a long strap so you can wear it on your shoulder and you can also loop this long strap through and create a backpack so i wore it as a backpack most of the time um but yeah this was really good for holding a lot of stuff um and i used it quite a lot over the holiday another item i picked up were these um arendelle aqua ears they sold these in the um Hong Kong Disneyland like shops and I knew they'd kind of come out recently and I did really like the colour so I bought them for myself and um, I know they're not like a Hong Kong Disneyland exclusive air but the only ones that they had were the like Hong Kong Disneyland 14th anniversary ears which were just kind of um they were okay but I didn't love them and I much preferred these so I just thought I would just get myself the Arendelle Aquas and um, so I wore these a couple of times on the trip. So another couple of bits I picked up were some jewellery um, so I picked up this. It is a little Mickey Mouse hat um, necklace. I just thought this was really cute um, and it's something that I could wear like in and out of the parks um, as like a little nice necklace. This was 148 Hong Kong dollars so around about £16 which I didn't think was too bad um, and yeah I just really liked it and again I know they sell these kind of things everywhere but I just wanted this so I bought it. <laughs> and then another thing that I bought for myself was a Pandora charm and um, I always struggle showing these to people so I don't think this is going to be any different but I got myself the Hong Kong Disneyland castle charm and um, which obviously looks very similar well identical to the um, Disneyland castle charm because at the moment they've still got the old castle charms Um, I'm assuming at some point once the new castle's finished they will update the castle charm for Hong Kong but for the moment I just got this one um, and it says Hong Kong Disneyland on the bottom which again I don't think you'll be able to see but who knows, I'm shooting with my iPhone this time and not my camera, so maybe you can. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to get myself a memento um, from Hong Kong, so I got that. So another item that I picked up was this. It is a Hong Kong Disneyland mug. It's quite basic, um, but I quite liked the design of it. It's just got lots of little Mickey heads on it. 
um, and it's red and just says Hong Kong Disneyland and then on the inside it's like this yellowy orange colour um, but I liked it, I thought it was cute and it was 98 Hong Kong dollars so 10 to 11 pounds um, which I didn't think was too bad and my main thing with mugs was like space but I managed to buy quite a lot of mugs which you will see throughout the whole videos um, so two from Hong Kong already obviously um, and there are more from other places too um, but yeah I just really like this mug design so I thought I would pick it up one other thing that I kind of picked up on the trip, which wasn't really like a purchase, well it was, but um, wasn't exactly expensive, was they have the recyclable bags in Hong Kong Disneyland. So I picked up this Hong Kong Disneyland um, recyclable bag um, and on the back it's got, um, it's kind of like, um, I think that's going to be Grizzly Mountain run, rail, way, Railroad, Big Grizzly Mountain yeah <laughs> um it's got small world it's got mickey and it's got toy story land on it i don't know what you can see i have no idea what's in frame but hopefully you can see that um, and this was uh, i don't remember how much does it say on it oh it does 19 hong kong dollars so about two pounds fifty and um, so a little bit more than the us ones but um i just wanted it i thought it was quite a nice little like good thing to get is a reusable bag Okay, so I've just got a couple more things to kind of go through, and they are food. So, I've got a couple of little tins. These tins have just looked really cute, so I bought a few. Um, so this one was the first one that I picked up, and it is um, cookies, the butter and chocolate flavour on the inside. Um, and it just has, like, Mickey and Minnie in some, like, Chinese kind of wear. I was surprised I didn't actually sell this in Shanghai, but I got it from Hong Kong, so... Um, another one I picked up was the Hong Kong Disneyland 14th anniversary tin. Um, this has um, chocolate in it. Um, and it's got all the characters in their like 14th anniversary wear. Um, it just says 14th anniversary on there. It's got the castle on it. And it says Hong Kong Disneyland on the top. This was 88 Hong Kong dollars. And this one was 98 Hong Kong dollars. And then the last one that we got was this, um, Hong Kong Disneyland. Um, this has got cookies, um, milk chocolate, wait no, it has chocolate flavoured cookies in it and also milk chocolate in it. So this one just has, yeah, this one just has the two. Okay, cool. Um, in this one, we actually got this for free um, from the hotel when we checked out, which was really sweet of them. Um, but yeah, so this one has chocolate and cookies in it, so it's a good little, com like, um combination and um, it's my least favorite of the boxes obviously i didn't pick this one out and um, but it does have the piece of art that's in the hong kong disneyland hotel behind mickey mouse and he's just kind of like making his bed so i think this is probably a hong kong disneyland hotel tin um but yeah like i said this was given to us as a gift um okay yes that's everything that i picked up from hong kong disneyland i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope it's all kind of been in frame you can hear it and see what i've bought because i have no idea what you're seeing um until i edit this and i really haven't got the time to refilm it so i hope it's okay um if you've liked this video please give it a like and a thumbs up i'm not too sure which order i'm going to be uploading in but this will either come out before my hong kong vlogs or after if it's after please check out my hong kong disneyland vlogs if it's before then please stay tuned to my hong kong disneyland vlogs um, and there will be a shanghai haul and a tokyo haul coming your way very very soon Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!